Millions of Coloradans made their voices heard at the ballot box on Election Day. And today we are still waiting for some results with many races and ballot measures simply too close to call. That includes Colorado's newest district, District 8, created this year to reflect Colorado's growing population. It starts in the northern part of the metro area, then stretches north from there, encompassing Thornton, Fort Lupton, Greeley, and Berthoud. And the race to represent that district in the House of Representatives still too close to call tonight. Democrat Yadera Caravay is leading Republican Barbara Kirkmeyer very close behind her. Our Olivia Young talked to both campaigns today about how the battle for the Latino vote was crucial in this race. The race for Colorado's newest and most competitive congressional district may be decided by the district's Latino population. Campaigns for Democrat Yadira Caraveo and Republican Barbara Kirkmeyer courted Latino and immigrant populations. People of color, especially going after like the Latino community as well as people who are lower income. Both campaigns advertising on Spanish language television and circulating Spanish campaign literature. There is definitely a a notable chunk of people in that district who I don't think would vote if it wasn't for our efforts to make sure that they were getting all their materials in Spanish. Advocacy groups also work to get out the Latino vote. The Colorado Immigrant Rights Coalition endorsing Caraveo. As an immigrant rights uh, organization, Dr. Caraveo's story of being a first generation uh, Mexican American immigrant like obviously registers with us right off the bat. If Caraveo wins, she'll be Colorado's first Latina Congresswoman. Davis hopes her identity incentivized some Latino voters to hit the polls. She's got the lived experience that a lot of people in those communities have. A recent Wall Street Journal poll finds the GOP is gaining Latino support. Republican Kirk Meyer pledged to advocate for Colorado's Hispanic families if elected, and a Hispanics for Kirk Meyer coalition formed during her campaign. Our Olivia Young reporting there for us. She also learned that the Colorado Latino exit poll will share survey results of 600 Latino voters across the state, including an oversampling of voters in this district. The final results in this race will set precedent not only for the power of the Latino vote, but for this new district in its entirety. And right